me here is a business delegation that is very interested in investing more in Ghana. Some of them have already been here for quite some time investing in Ghana. I'm happy to be able to say that we're going to sign the Memorandum of Understanding today and with us will be companies that uh, are here to sign that agreement. Bosch, uh, VW are just two of them. We will continue to assist you in industrializing your country and I thank you Mr. President. We see a big role for Germany. Europe as well as Germany in this development of a motor automotive industry here in Ghana. I'm particularly happy to hear about the possibility of an agreement being signed today involving Volkswagen and, and, and the government and a local Ghanaian company for the assembly and uh, hopefully ultimately one day the production of automobiles here in Ghana. Incidentally, our overall eyes on the importation of used vehicles. This, as a result, will create a lot of highly skilled jobs, reduce the high amounts of foreign exchange used in the importation of second-hand vehicles, and thereby help strengthen the Ghanaian currency, whilst at the same time end the nation foreign exchange through the exportation of made in Ghana vehicles. It's gratifying to note that VW is going beyond the Beetle to assemble in Ghana other brands, namely Tiguan, Terramount, Amarok, Caddy, Polo, and Passat. V Volkswagen means the people's car. So I'm unexpected that the brands being assembled in Ghana would not only be affordable, but also be of the highest quality. I assure Volkswagen Ghana the government will continue to support the company in diverse ways to ensure the sustainability and profitability of this venture in Ghana. To this end, the Chief of Staff 
that the Office of the President has issued recently a new directive to all ministries, departments, and agencies, and indeed to the Public Procurement Authority, to give first preference to the acquisition of locally assembled vehicles when public funds are used to buy vehicles. With the Chinese company Sinotruck already engaged in the assembly of trucks in Ghana, I'm hopeful that other global automobile companies, which have indicated their preparedness to set up shop in Ghana, will soon follow the remarkable pioneering example of Volkswagen. In developing the new automobile industry in Ghana, our intention is not to destroy the livelihoods of local stakeholders engaged in the industry value chain. I've engaged with representatives of the various stakeholder groupings and given them the assurance the government will introduce the necessary policy safeguards to protect their interests, enable them also over time to adapt to the new realities of the emerging automotive sector. Government will continue to introduce appropriate incentives and support interventions to attract both foreign and local investments into the automobile assembly and manufacturing sector in Ghana. It is worth noting that already another Ghanaian-owned company, the Kantanka Group, is in possession of a license to undertake auto assembly operations in Ghana. I believe the development and modernization of the industry present a win-win opportunity for both foreign and local companies engaged in the industry value chain. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great pleasure to unveil formally and launch the first VW vehicle assembled in Ghana, the first of many to be made in Ghana, God willing. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. And thank you for your attention.